A new report reveals the extent to which poverty and disability in the UK are linked. According to the Joseph Rowntree Foundation, nearly half of those in poverty has a disability or lives with someone who does. That's seven million people. People with disabilities are more likely to work fewer hours and be in lower paid jobs. They'd be earning, on average, £200 less each week per household than others. Our family correspondent, Frankie McCabley, reports. People look down on you then, like, oh, yeah, she's scrounging off the state, oh, God, yeah, she's doing that, when actually they don't really know the impact on, on day-to-day life. Nobody's going to employ me because at a moment's notice I would have to go and deal with Adriano, and besides which, I'm exhausted. I'm a hidden carer completely because no one knows. I don't, get, I don't get any pay for this, I don't get any recognition for this, I don't get any help. Three mothers, one common problem. Caring for a disabled family member has forced them into poverty. Let's go, let's get a ten, baby. Yay, 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 bye. yay. In Bristol, Jennifer's family rely on food banks. She had to give up her job to care for her youngest son, Nathan, who has complex needs, including ADHD. My full-time job is taking care of my son. But I also do feel that I've been punished, not by my son, but by life, because no matter how much you try and get yourself a couple of steps ahead, you're always going to be a couple of steps behind financially. Do you want me to put all these fruit pots just under here? In York, Mary receives £66 a week to care for her 30-year-old son who yeah. has autism. Uh, to raise money for the poor and the homeless. Despite barely making ends meet, her family set up a food bank to help others in their position. Had I been able to work to my qualifications, I'd have been doing very well, thank you. Um, I have more than enough qualifications to head a school, to be a head teacher in special education. But I will only be able to use my skills because I can give them for free. Jennifer and Mary's situations are not uncommon. Giving up work paired with the higher cost of living to deal with some conditions can have a big financial impact. The link between poverty and people with disabilities isn't a new one, but these latest figures show how closely connected the two are. People here in York are using food banks on a weekly basis. They say they desperately need help. It is time to break that link between poverty and disability, and it's partly because of lack of opportunities. So we need jobs that are much more flexible for people with different conditions. It's partly that we don't have a kind of social security system that really gives people the support they need. Which is how community volunteer Sydney feels. Her mother receives £66 a week for full-time care. This won't cover even home care or getting a cleaner. So the government's saying, you, at 35, had to care for your mum on less than minimum wage because we don't have an infrastructure supporting this issue. The government says it wants to get more disabled people into work and is introducing the National Disability Strategy. But for these families in York, it's all talk and no action. Something needs to change. Frankie McCamley, BBC News.